Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number six. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. All right, so we are back. Holy shit, that was loud. I forget <laughs> I've moved my microphone around. Um, so we are going to take part in the Flyweight International today. Uh, we get a Do Luck NSX, whatever the hell that is. Um, and it's uh, open for vehicles weighing less than 932 kilos. We're obviously in the Lotus Six Siege, which I believe is the most powerful car in this category without putting upgrades on. Uh, starting off with Diamondback, going to Malayan Crate, and then Black Mamba Race Circuit. Let's go. All right, here we go. This is... I believe this is the 14th championship that we will have done. Or, like, 14th event. We're already getting fairly far into the game already. As well, if anyone can hear any uh, fan noise in the background, I do apologize in advance for that. Uh, it's currently a heat wave in the UK. Um... By the end of the week, the temperatures are expected to get up to 34 degrees Celsius. Which is... Mental. For a Brit, uh, that's extremely hot. Because, uh, may I remind you, us Brits like cold temperatures. <laughs> We're in a very cold and wet country, so... Any heat and it feels like hell. Do do do. Oh, we've had a bit of contact there. How warm is it in uh, Sweden at the moment, Aaron? Like, in terms of temperature, is it hotter than normal? Colder than normal? What's it like? We've got the other Exige is actually trying to overtake us there. Matrix, what is up? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing, my man? Lovely. Good, uh, good start here so far. This is obviously going to be a uh, two lap, uh, four lap race, so we are not even halfway through this race yet. Plus 20 degrees. What, so it's like 20 degrees Celsius at the moment? Because if that's the case, then that's quite warm for Sweden. Yeah, that's that's pretty warm for Sweden, actually. I don't even know what the temperature is here. I'll uh, search it up um, in just a moment. I know it's hot because I have to have this fan on at all times. Yeah. Give it a week. They are going to go up to 30. The UK is scheduled to hit 34 before the end of the week. Probably on Saturday or Sunday. Oh, lovely slide there. Yeah, I can tell you this right now for absolute certainty. If that's even the way you say it. Um, yeah. With absolute certainty, I can tell you right now I enjoy this game a million times more than Motorsport 1. Motorsport 1 just had so many flaws. But at the end of the day, every game... 
its first one always is going to have flaws. I don't think anyone's ever made a first version of a game that's been phenomenal. And game of the year worthy kind of thing. You think Borderlands 1 was a buggy mess. Forza Motorsport 1, handling mechanics were pretty crap. Even Gran Turismo 1 wasn't a great fan of. Bit too clunky. Though Gran Turismo 2 didn't fare out too much better. Either. Oh, I've accidentally changed the camera view. Don't want that. I don't know why, but I love the look of this Exige with this color. This is a custom paint job. But, uh, yeah, that's a good idea, Aaron. Getting a, um, air conditioning thing. We don't actually have air conditioning because the UK very rarely needs it. There we go. Not too bad. 3,500 credits. Woohoo! All right, yo. Let's get going. Round number two. Or race number two. Whatever you want to call it. I know I, I really hate this test track. I have a love-hate relationship. It's sort of like Marmite, except I love it and hate it at the same time. I don't know why. It's just such a boring track. But I suppose it does get the best out of all of the um, all of the cars in this game. It's good for testing. <laughs> Pandy has decided to punch Sir Fallen with not very much damage. Let's be real. <laughs> oh, this song is brilliant. Meow. Oh, right around the outside. Look at that. <clears throat> Emerging, squirming like worms to the surface, searching for certain purpose. Unearthing words from the stern and burning, disturb them. Oh shit. Wobbling this way and that. Yo, Epic! What is up? How are you doing, my man? Stark bollock naked, passing the ball. And after it all, will he still get stage fright? In perfect view of alien eyes. Few turns out the aliens were nice. Types on the mic. Catch him online selling rhymes for diamonds. Rubies and all kinds of shiny items. Meow. Come on, let's get the strip stream. Wow, we go in. Currently playing Boneworks. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, I need to have a look into uh, getting Boneworks actually for the Oculus. But I don't know whether I want to buy it on Oculus or whether I just want to buy it on Steam. Because I know Steam is slightly easier for modding for any game. Can fuck them up. Double up. Absurdly obscene it would seem. Far from pleased with the world I'm seeing. There we go. Not bad. Story mode kind of scary though. Ah, fair enough. Might have a look at getting it.
Born in a red dwarf, falling apart. A force of nature is all that we are. Shit. Trade places. It rains on Saturn. Not bad. I didn't actually expect these laps to be so long. <laughs> but then again, we are going on a route which is basically half of the test track. So, and the test track is about a four minute lap. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, maybe that makes, makes sense. Obviously, when we get to the level 10 one of the Proving Grounds, that'll be the last of the normal test track. Like, I think we'll get test track occasionally as we play through the game. We go, not bad. Emerging, squirming like worms to the surface, searching for certain purpose. Drift in the car. Not bad though. Good race. AI cars are just behind us back there. The AI does seem a little more consistent. 3,600 again. Alright. Race number three. Final race with the uh, Lotus for us. For now. I do think a lot of these events in this game are a little more unique because I know there were like sometimes like two or three duplicates of events in Motorsport 1. I think a lot more of them were completely unique in Motorsport 2. Uh. But again, I'm not 100% sure because I haven't leveled up enough to be able to like say, oh yeah, that's the what happened. Yeah, that's normally what would uh, fix it. Just a bit of WD-40. Just something to make sure that those contacts are clean. Go, 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 go. Yeah. <laughs> Stick in some contact cleaner and get that shit sparkling brand new. Like it just came out of the factory. But that's the problem. A lot of th thumbsticks in controllers, the only reason they go bad is because of dirt and dust buildup. It's very rare for a controller to have stick drift and not be able to be fixed by cleaning the actual uh, contacts in the thumbstick. Like, 99 out of 100 times, any, like, repair specialist gets a controller in with um, stick drift, just cleans it up, and it's working, like, brand new again.
There we go. Well, technically, they do already have covers on the top. That's why they've got that little dome shape on them. And that's to reduce the amount of dirt that gets in, but dirt can still get into it. There's no way that you can actually fully cover it up, otherwise the thumbstick just wouldn't move. You'd end up with a thumbstick that physically can't move. Ooh! Lovely bit of a slide there. I think we went a little too aggressive. Not bad. Lovely jubble. <laughs> Lovely. The man who invents the perfect joystick will be rich. Agreed. Because as soon as they pattern it, everyone will be wanting that pattern. Very nice. I still can't believe we're already on to uh, recording episode 6. This is our second live stream. And we're on to episode 6. That's crazy. Not bad. Come on, let's get across that finish line. Finish line. And there we go. Across the line. I'm going to take my 3,600 credits. Does this bonus credits that we also earn... Add to our level? I don't think it does. Been awarded a Honda and a bonus of 4,500 credits. Yes, cheers. Charming, thank you. Oh, bloody hell. That's lovely. Oh my god. Okay, I'm not complaining about that. Alright, this is it. Time for the sports car classic. Uh, we're starting off with the Lancia Stratos going around Silverstone, Sunset Peninsula infield, and finishing off with Maple Valley. Let's get going. All right, here we go. Oh my god, this music's too loud. I turned it up for the meme, and now it's too loud, and I can't hear shit. We do actually have a little bit of a performance upgrade in this Lancia, just to give it a little more oomph. 
Oh, this is a lovely car to drive. I love it. I wonder if the Stratos is actually in uh, Horizon 5. I doubt it. And the darkness turns to blue. Because both the Stratos and the uh, Delta Integrale were insanely powerful cars. When it came to like off-roading capabilities and like rallying. Oh no, I broke the rules. I went across the pit exit line. Oh, whatever will I do? If only I was playing a game that didn't follow by those rules. Oh wait, I am. <laughs> hey, there's the uh, medical center. In case you absolutely uh, bin it. I do like how the uh, racetracks in this game are sort of realistic to how they're supposed to be. And the darkness turns to blue, yeah, I will be the one to keep when I come back to you. There we go, not too bad. Right, final few corners. And then this race is done and dusted. And there we go, across the line. Woohoo! We got 5,300 for that one. We're gonna level up to level 14. What do we get? There's more Ford. There are new Mustang production models available in the dealership. Nice. Uh, Lancey is level one, so we've got a 20% discount on rim style upgrades. Okay, cool. All right, let's go, Sunset Peninsula infield. Oh my god, I see a Mercedes back there. 300 SL. What a beautiful car. Get out of the way. Oh. Did not like that at all. There we go, not bad.
Oof. Yeah, that didn't go too well. <laughs> Absolutely bollock that corner there. There we go. Yo, electric brake! How are you today? Welcome. How is your day been? There we go, not too bad. Yeah, he didn't hit the wall this time. Uh, nearly did, actually. I <laughs> wasn't paying attention. I am actually kind of happy that um, this track's featured in Motorsports 1 to 4. Because at least this track, as enjoyable as it is, is featured in the best of the franchise. Because if this was introduced in Motorsport 5, 6, and 7, rather than the other ones, yeah, I, d I, d I don't think I'd enjoy the track as much, to be perfectly honest. I think they should bring back a lot of the older original tracks to the new Forza Motorsport. Only because of the fact it will add some more variety. And if they can do it, do what Gran Turismo couldn't do. It might look good on the Forza devs. Forza, you got a year to do it. Chop, chop. <laughs> There we go, not too bad. 5,300 again. Let's go to the next race. All right, Maple Valley. This is it. I'm still in awe, though, at how beautiful Maple Valley actually looks in the new Forza Motorsport. Obviously, the Mo new Forza Motorsport isn't out yet. It probably won't be out till we finish Motorsport 4, to be perfectly honest, in this series. But... It's going to be quite cool. To see Maple Valley in a, like, in a quality that we've never seen it before. And especially is the fact that there's a lot of scenery behind Maple Valley. The only thing I wish that um, Forza could add is a little more... Uh, if they could add like a free roam onto the maps and add like little cutoffs. Like, get rid of the barriers and stuff like that. So that you can park your car wherever you want to on the track for uh, photography. I think that would be a lovely way to get photography properly implemented into Motorsport 7. Because it's still somewhat meh. Especially if you've got all these barriers around the outside. Photography for Falls of Motorsport is going to be very minimal. If it even exists at all, to be perfectly honest. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Take me away. Give me a sanctuary. Take me away. Take me away. Give me a sanctuary. 
Take me away. On a discotheque. On a discotheque. On a discotheque. The internet. Have a look around. Mario! Thank you so much for that follow, my dude. Legend. How you doing, my man? Don't mind me asking, how did you find my channel today? How did you find out about these shenanigans? Not bad. Such a media share. Ah, fair enough. <laughs> well, uh, we don't have any free stuff here, unfortunately. It's all paid media share. But it's a very reasonable rate. <laughs> there we go. Not bad. 5,300. Let's go. All right, we also got uh, a bonus of six grand for this one. And a car, which looks like a Porsche Carrera. 4S? No. 911 RS. Never mind. I'm close, but no cigar. It's a lovely car, that, though. Beautiful. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.